Hey everyone, I'm Dak Radiola. I am the illustrator of the picture book Look Up, and I'm here today as part of Cressida Cow's Creativity Summer Camp. Um, I'm going to be taking you guys through my sketches and my sketchbook. I use that term loosely because I draw on lots of loose pieces of paper. Um, and I'm just going to show you how I work things out and how I design the characters for the picture books that I work on. All right, I hope you guys enjoy. Right, so first things first, I'm going to show you guys. Um, as I said before, I don't tend to keep a sketchbook like most other artists do. I tend to draw on lots of loose pieces of paper, which then end up coming together to create um, a series, if you will. And that's okay to do. Some people use their iPad um, these days. Some people use a sketchbook. I prefer to use loose sheets of paper. So what I'm gonna show you is an example of um, some of my drawings, how they start and how they go on and then how they end. So for these, uh, these are a series of drawings that I had to do to explore a character um, of a lion and a little girl. So you can see how loose and scribbly the drawings are. So again, your drawings don't have to be perfect. What I'm trying to do at, in this stage is to just figure out how I'm going to approach the character design. So what I'm trying to catch, for example, are little expressions like smiling and laughing, um, the shape of the characters as well, just what kind of body they have. Um, here we go, and down here you can see an example of the lion. Let's change the camera a little bit. You can see an example of the lion opening his mouth. And then in these sheets here, I have started exploring um, some elements of what the characters, the girl and the lion are gonna look like when they're interacting. And it starts off this rough. And look, you can see that I've got some little expressions going on here as well for the lion that I'm exploring. And then if we go up, I've got this sheet here again, just trying to figure out how the lion looks. And I'm gonna take you guys through another sheet. Again, so this is a bigger A3 sheet of paper that I have. So again, I work from like really small loose sheets to big sheets, it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to figure out the character. So again, some explorations of the lion, here we go. Right, and this um, then goes on to using, actually I forgot to mention, I use this thing here called a light box. And how a light box works, let me show you. This is a light box, right? This is my light box, it's part of my drawing desk. And how it works is it shines a beam of light up from beneath the piece of paper that I've done my sketches on, right? And then what I do then is I will now, put a clean sheet of paper over any of the drawings that I want to improve. And because of the light that's coming through the bottom, I can now draw over my loose drawing and make it tighter to take it to the next stage, okay? So now I'm gonna show you what the next stage will look like. So that's my sketch stage. So the next stage looks something like this. Right, so this, I'm gonna switch the light box off so you can see it clearly. There we go. This is a cleaned up sketch, right? And I would normally take, then take this to, um, after doing a cleaned up sketch like this, just to make sure that everything is, everything that I want in the picture is captured. I would then take this to another stage, again using the light box, and I would place a clean sheet of paper over the top of this, and then I would apply my inks and then once that's done, I scan the inks in onto my computer and then I add color to get the next image I'm about to show you now, which is a finished piece. Bam. Right? So that's the finished piece. So we go from that really loose sketch to a tighter sketch, which is this. And then we get a clean inked version, which I don't have to show you at the moment because I can't find my inks. but. Then from the inks, I scan that up and I add color and we get this, okay? So that's how that works. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some really loose um, other pieces before I go on to some more finished examples. And some more sketches. This is a drawing of some cake characters, okay? So just, I draw loads of them on the same page, just to kind of get an idea again of what they look like next to each other, what their sizes are like. Um, this is some sketches that I've recently posted onto my Instagram page as well. Um, just a little 
pictures, some explorations of some monkeys. Go with another sketch here. You can see the loose sheet of paper ends up sometimes getting stained, so there's a little coffee stain in the corner. Right now, I'm going to show you um, some more development stuff. So this is a development sheet, the only one I could find um, of a piece that I did with some little girls dressed up as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I just do, again, there's a phone number on this. I should have rubbed that out before starting the video. But yeah, I just do some little sketches again, just to kind of understand how my characters move, what their limbs look like and all the rest of it. And then this finished thing I'm about to show you is after I've taken it through the stages I mentioned earlier, it then becomes this. Okay, so, I did one for each of these girls, but this drawing is of this character over here. Yeah. All right, so that's that. Right, so I'll take you through one of the book covers that I did for my actual first book called The Last Last Days of Summer. So this is an A3 sheet of paper of the pencil drawing from the book cover for The Last Last Day of Summer. And um, as you can see, it's all, it's a bit cleaner. It's not as rough as the earlier drawings that I've shown you, but this changed dramatically um, for the final cover. So this drawing that I'm showing you has um, this piece, this scene over here with the lady in the car on the left-hand side. And I'm gonna show you the finished book cover on my iPad, which will show you what we dropped out and what we changed for it to become the actual book cover that everybody knows and loves. Bear with me one second, shall I load that up? Right, so this is what the final book cover looks like. Right, just showing you on my iPad. So you can see that we've changed that left-hand side and we've now got the book's villain coming in strong on that left-hand side on the back cover, where before we didn't have that, we just had this car. So this car image, this car image has now become this car image over here. Let's see, get that in camera. Go. Um, so again, the sketch stage is all about trying to figure out which direction we're going to go in before we um, finish the work. It's where you do all your experimenting. It's where, where you do all your kind of practice before you go to the colour stage and you finish off the work. So this is a finished piece of work, again done digitally on my computer for lookup. Um, it's a picture, one of my favourite pictures from the book, of Rocket and her mum, while Rocket sitting down while her mum is doing her hair. Right, so I found the sketch. Ah, so this is what it looked like as a sketch beforehand. Right, so this is where, for the sketch, you can see it's really different um, to how the finished edition looked. I really liked how the sketch came out, but it just felt like certain elements were missing to make it a more complete picture. So you can see the difference between the two, sketch, hair, and the final piece, hair. So for the final piece, we've added a cushion. We've got our cat over there as well, and it just looks like a more complete scene um, of the moment that I'm trying to capture between mother and daughter. So, there we go. Boom. Right, and I'm going to show you one more before we go. So this is one of my favourite, favourite development sketches of Rocket, right? So go, it's a picture of her sitting down reading. See that that's the original sketch because of all the stains that are still on it. And what I did with that is the same thing I do with all the drawings that I do when I want to clean them up. I scanned up the drawing that you see in front of you and then I cleaned it up using Photoshop and this is what the finished image looks like. I think this is one of those rare moments where I didn't actually have to change any elements because I really 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 liked how the drawing came out. Right? So yeah, those are my sketches and uh, that's how I keep uh, a sketchbook of sorts. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.